Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Adam Ratliff with Adam So Fun. I'm very excited because there is a new beta version for Pro Stitcher Connect if you're running it. It's version 724. It's out and I haven't yet done the update using Connect. So using Connect to download the update and actually do that update. So let's do it together. I'm going to bring you over here. We're going to go through it. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified when new videos drop. Follow me on social media, Adam So Fun with an S E W, where you see everything that doesn't hit the channel. And um, yeah, let's go update this. All right, so here we are at our Pro Stitcher tablet. I already have Pro Stitcher 712, so I'm going to go information. So information tab in the top right about. This will tell you what version. So we're running Connect and it's version 712. There is a new beta version out, so let's go download it. This is the first time I'm actually gonna download it using Pro Stitcher Connect, so I'm kind of excited. If you have this box, just tap, it'll disappear. So I'm gonna go up to um, File, Update. I haven't actually done it this way. So let's go Cancel. Let's go to my Patterns. Hopefully I'm logged in, sign in. Did it remember me? I don't even know. I think you do have to be signed in to um, to download the updates. Let's try software updates. And we want to go to Pro Stitcher Studio updates. And we are running the PS Connect beta. So this is the newest beta. I believe it's 734. Let's see, tablet charts. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So right here, um, let's see, it's important to restart both your tablet machine after completing the process. Always do that when you're going up to a newer version. I'm gonna hit the plus. And so this is gonna be 2308724. So people are gonna start referencing this if you see it online. Um, let's see, Bubba, let's download. Oh my gosh, it's working. For real, this is gonna be this easy. Let's see how long it takes. I thought I would have to be signed in for this. Um, I guess you don't. So uh, you could still do this as normal. You can take it to your machine or to your computer, download it on your computer, put it on a USB or a thumb drive and put that in. And while this downloads, I'm just gonna scroll up. This is some of the improvements. Um, the, let's see, internet proxy no longer, I don't even know what that means, no longer set every time the Wi-Fi button is pressed. Um, it will exact, extract all the zipped files, so things like the uh, intermingled uh, feathers, whole cloth design was five different zipped files inside a zipped file, so people who were downloading it from Pro Stitcher Connect, when it downloaded it was an empty file because it was still zipped, so now those will work successfully, so that's exciting. Um, it won't add more desktops. Uh, desktop shortcuts when you're doing your install. That's great. I didn't even know that was happening. Um, they and that added enable network surface button to the network diagnostics window. I don't even know what that means. Thank you for adding that though. Um, downloading a zip file will overwrite corrupted zip files. Oh, that's nice. So if you get a corrupted file, um, every I, not ever so often, but I have done one install where I had to repair it. I think something just didn't download correctly. Life with computers. Uh, crashes reduced. I love seeing that. Uh, closed cropped edges stay closed. Oh, thank you guys at Pro Stitcher and the uh, software developers. Thank you for fixing that. That was a big pain in our uh, booties. Although we did just roll back to fix that, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, communication state changes. Great. Don't know what that means. Extra stitches before and after stitching resolved. Awesome. There's for you Pro Stitcher lighters. Uh, crashes resolve for the Simply and the Coronet um, when trying to close it. Your frame space now functions the same way, two corner and multi-point under the area tab. Oh, interesting. I don't know why you would do a multi-point frame space, but whatever. Uh, now able to edit your area size manually via the keypad. Oh, that's great. I didn't know you guys couldn't. That was hard. Um, gears button available so customers can easily engage disengage motors to go between free oh I didn't realize that you didn't have a gears button or that it was gone interesting um, the infinity machine detects correctly well that's good because that's what I have I didn't have any issues with that though um, oh wait for real would you like to install the update yes is this it 
I didn't even get to read the whole thing. Oh my gosh. This is a reason right here to do. This is worth it for Connect. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. So um, I'm gonna run this, or, uh, we're gonna run, we're gonna go through this, and I'm gonna keep you here so you get to see it all. But um, the nice thing about this is, so right, currently we have 712. You have to have Connect to be able to do this. You have to have at least 706. Um, so I'm putting on the beta, and right now, so if you are running Connect, download all the betas. They're, they're, the betas are fixing things with the prior versions as they go. So keep up on the betas whenever they get released. I'm gonna hit start. Uh, I'm going to confirm. It's going to install my stuff. When this gets done, I'm gonna do a full shutdown. Shut down my tablet. It's gonna reboot the tablet. I'm gonna shut down my tablet, turn my machine off in the front, turn my machine off in the back. If you're on Pro Stitcher Lite, turn your carriages off unplug it. I'm going to unplug it for like 10 minutes. I'm going to go do something else um, because I want to make sure everything fully powers down. Then I'll come back. I'll uh, turn it back on. I actually have some Windows updates that I need to run as well. So I'll go and do that. Um, oh, it's finished. Closed or close. Now it's going to do that uh, reboot. Um, so I have some Windows updates I need to run today before I actually start stitching too. That's the Life, life on the road, being gone for so long, I haven't actually turned the machine on in a bit. And then we had the hurricane, so crazy times. So yeah, that is updating the Pro Stitcher um, using Pro Stitcher Connect. I have to say, that was easy. That is awesome. Um, I already love that I can go and buy things. You know, I can go to my patterns and buy things here. But being able to just do that... Um, I'm super excited and there's some new patterns I want to get so uh, well actually there's some patterns I got to get for the chain link quilt but now I'm updated I can go to my info tab up here on the top right hit my about and I see that I'm at 724 it's that easy don't be scared all right that was so easy I can't believe how easy it was I'm this makes me very excited because I knew that I a lot of the functions with connect I was very excited about I know people are kind of iffy about it but um being able to just do that, I didn't even know it was going to start up automatically. So now I know it's here. I get to update it without doing anything else right at my tablet. Uh, but like I said, it's rebooted. File tab. Shut down. Shut down. Shutting down my tablet. Um, it's shutting down. When this is done, I'm going to turn off my machine. I'm going to the back. I'm going to turn it off back there. I will unplug it, and then I'm going to revisit this baby in about 10 minutes when I can boot it back up and start my Windows updates. I know there's gonna be quite a few. I think there's like three or four since the last time I did it. Tablets all the way shut down, clicking it off, coming around to the back as I squeeze through my different places. I do have a switch in the back. Um, all the machines have a switch in the back, except for, uh, no, everybody has a switch in the back. Not all of them have it in the front. I'm not an electrical engineer, but if they gave me a switch, I'm going to switch it. So I always turn it off here, turn it off in the back, and plug it. Uh, when I turn it on, plug it in, turn it on in the back, turn it on in the front, and then my tablet. Um, Again, not an electrical engineer, but if there's a switch there, they gave me, there's a reason to do it. So I'm unplugging. I do have a UPS, which is an uninterrupted power source. It's like a big, oh my gosh, it's so big. It's plugged in. It's a big battery backup. I don't even know if you can see me right now. Um, if you don't have one, you really should. I will put a link in the uh, description below so you can check those out. I ordered mine on Amazon, like 150 bucks, and I really need to go get another one because I need one for my domestic machine. So that was it. That's updating. It's only scared, scary the first time, and now you've done it with me, so it's not scary at all. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Follow me on social media, Adam So Fun with an S-E-W on Facebook and Instagram, 
and go try out Connect. And if you don't like it, roll back to 537. Download 537, download 724, and work and see if you like it because it really is beneficial in the long run. And when those new updates and the things they're working on come out, mwah, mwah, mm, mm, mm. I, I've seen, I've seen them, and I'm dreaming about them. And you're gonna want to have access to them too. So we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.